I very much hope that you might attend my upcoming lecture. I want to communicate the enthusiasm I have for not only the big ideas which I'm going to present in this lecture all about the evolution of power, but also how it starts and how, how I came to this and how I come to it is through a love of natural objects such as the shells I work on. They're beautiful. They're interesting. They have, if you look at them carefully enough, and you can never look carefully enough, but if you look e carefully at these things, you find properties that tell you something about the worlds today, but more importantly, in my case, worlds of the distant past. And so, to get at some general principles, such as the evolution of power, which I will be discussing, you have to start simply by observing, in my case, the fossils and the living representatives of groups and what they are trying to tell us about how organisms live and lived in the past, how they functioned, and how they interacted with each other to form ecosystems, some of which may have been very different in the geological past. And so, to piece together a history, you have to examine the mundane, the simple things, and to glean information from those simple objects, like these simple, beautiful clams. And um, to me, that's the essence of science, to ask questions of simple things and to gain insights into really big problems from those simple beginnings.